Hey guys, back with another package opening. Yeah, time wise, it is about 12.08, so p.m., a little eight minutes after noon uh, on this Friday, April 23rd. Yeah, just moments ago, we finished up another one. I uh, finished up the first of the two that I said was coming. Ironically, as soon as I finished up that one, that's when the next two packages came. And uh, what's great about these two is one of them is under my name, but it's not actually for me. And the other one is for me. So, you know, go figure. But yeah, we have uh, two packages here. Two packages. Like I said, one. this one's for me. One. This one's under my name, but it's not for me. It's actually for my mom. So, what are they? Well, let's take a look. And I'll explain what they are. So, we're going to start with the one that's for, in my name, but it's for my mom. This is from Kirk Cameron. Yeah, that's right. That The same... Kirk Cameron of Growing Pains and of the original Left Behind movies uh, who is currently right now doing a one uh, yeah right what I'm trying to say he's currently right now in the process of doing and finishing up a 100 days revival series on Facebook yeah he's actually doing a 100 days revival series on Facebook and he started this uh, in response to Joe Biden's 100 days of mask mandate or whatever the case was to kind of show that, you know, within 100 days, you don't have to rely on the president. You need to rely on the Lord Almighty as your guide, as the one that's going to get you through this. So that's what he's been doing. He's been doing a 100 days campfire revival from his house and on location in Georgia and one of the things he was talking about a lot that my mom wanted me to get once it became available was a certain book. And it was a book that was originally published years ago, but was out of print and now had been revised and, you know, uh, had now had been revised and been re-released with the help of Kirk Cameron. So uh, what is it? Well, let's take a look, shall we? And it is, and the receipt in there, nope, it is The American Covenant, The Untold Story by Marshall Foster. This was, uh, this guy right here, this was actually originally released years ago and then got revised, like I said, courtesy of Kirk Cameron. It says right there, forward by Kirk Cameron, American Campfire Revival Edition. That's how it was getting promoted a lot. So, yeah, Kurt actually does a Ford in this. And my mom has been wanting me to get this. And originally, originally, there he is right there. Uh, originally, we couldn't get it because it was not out. And then news got around that he was, that it was being re-released, being revised and re-released. And it says Ford by Kurt Cameron, American Campfire Revival Edition. And he was using this a lot uh, during the 100 days, during the current 100 days campfire revival. It says, Kirk Cameron recommends the American Covenant, the untold story. And then he has a quote on there, right there. I'll let you uh, read that if you want to. But yeah, my mom's been wanting to get this. And she even told me eventually down the line she's going to want to get more stuff from the campfire revival Kirk Cameron website. So yeah, there we are. We got... Uh, American Covenant, the untold story, the revised version, uh, forwarded by you know, the American Campfire Revival Edition, that is. So, revised campfire, whatever you want to call it. So, with that said, what's the next thing up? Well, we got this one. This is part of my Amazon order, but because just like with, you know, something like eBay or Esta, it's third party. So, through Amazon, this is sent by the two brothers... Treasury in Coldwater, Michigan, and this is the first of two if it's what I think it is that's coming my way and the timing is ironic since I just got the Retron 77 so hopefully this will work in it and I think if this is what I think it is 
I had this back when me and my family originally had the Atari 2600. This was one of the games we used to have. I don't know why we got rid of our games at that time, but what are you going to do? System and games at that time, but what are you going to do? And it is... Bring that out. It's the receipt. And this is... Because again, like I said, I think we had this when, we were, when I was a kid. I think I had this when I was a kid. But, you know, again, we got rid of our 2600. And I don't know exactly what happened to it. But this is... Video Olympics. And this is the first time, honestly, I'm holding an Atari game in my hands. In a long, long time. This is Video Olympics. This is also part of the Atari flashback series they did uh, They did in conjunction with, with Ad Games. This is part of that as well. But this is the actual physical copy. <laughs> and what this is, actually, folks, is nothing more than variations of Pong. You want to know more about it? Uh, Chris Bors, Irate Gamer, did the history of video games. And I think it was towards one of the later parts. I think part five. I don't know if it was part six or seven. But he talked about this. And this is one of the last things he talked about. Where this is like every variation of Pong. Like it gives off. Like basically the title gives off the impressions of an Olympic game. Or a game full of Olympic events. But it's just different variations of Pong. And this was at a time when even something like. You know Atari could take something as simple as Pong. And take all the different variations and say here you go. You know, one it's all tied together in one night one neat little package. So yeah. <coughs> there you go. But anyway though, that's that's about it for the package openings on the second one. So we got my mom's book she's wanted, and we got uh this one as well. And yeah, it's got a little picture of the campfire revival right there too. So but yeah. That's about it for the second package opening for today. Ironically, how many moments after the other one, it seems. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. And I am out.